may your presence surround us and fill us, so that in union with all creation we might sing your praise and your love in all our lives. Amen. The light shines in the darkness. Step up and 
annoyed she this when everyone else was telling her she was just wasting her time. Knowing that God was with both of these ladies, I'm sure, led to the confidence that they had in stepping up in the care for Jesus. We all know that Jesus was knew, Jesus knew that God, his Father, was right there with him as he carried his cross to Golgotha. So how can we remember that God is always with us, offering to us for him to hold our right hand? The footprint's prayer, which I'm sure many of you have heard, but I'll share it tonight as well, says this. One night I dreamed a dream. As I was walking along the beach with my Lord, across the dark sky flashed scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to my Lord. After the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. I noticed that at many times along the path of my life, especially at the very lowest and saddest times, there was only one set of footprints. This really troubled me, so I asked the Lord about it. Lord, you said once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I noticed that during the saddest and most troublesome times of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why. When I needed you the most, you would leave me. He whispered, my precious child, I love you and will never Never ever during your trials and testings, when you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. But how, so if God carried us in our times of trouble, is there any chance we can get to the point where Jesus can just, where God and Jesus can just hold our right hand and walk beside us the whole time? When somebody holds your hand, it's an act of comfort. They're trying to release some of their positive energy they have onto you who's feeling a little blown with the time. There's something about touching someone when they're feeling bad or when they're sick that seems to provide a new energy to the room or to the person. And that, that energy is God going through us. Is God putting that person there for you, giving you someone to cry with, giving you someone to laugh with, giving you someone to express your burdens and anything else that's going on in your life. God is always there to continue to try to remove some of that negative energy that may be present in our lives by holding our hand or even carrying us through our struggles. When you are falling down, or you're drowning, or you're experiencing trouble, you're reaching out a hand of a nearby for a hand of a nearby person, hoping they will be able to grab a hold of your hand and pull you to safety. God is that person. He's that person that's close enough to grab your hand and help pull you to safety. God provided that person for you. To be there as a comfort and somebody to rescue you. In our times of grief, it can be hard to remember to allow God to grab our hand and to lead us down the path. Instead, we try to get through it all on our own, leading us to have to fight for air as we struggle to wade through the water as it increasingly gets up almost to above our heads. So as many people are reaching out to us in times of grief to try to help us, it can be overwhelming and be too much, but God understands that. God understands that there are times when we don't want to be around people, that there are times that we just want to be with God, and that's it. God wants us in those moments to just reach for His hand, and His hand alone. Through prayer, letting God know that everything is on our minds, telling Him it all.
even though we know he already knows it. But by asking him in prayer and giving it up to him in prayer, we're getting it off of our mind, allowing some of that negative energy to, to decrease. We let God know these things, we're getting it out, and he realizes, and we all realize that those are the moments when we do need to be carried. We need to be carried, not just walk beside. And as we love one another, we continue to try and lend a hand to one another. But sometimes we forget to see how God is that person grabbing our hand, or how we are God grabbing someone else's hand. So how can you see God, whether it's you or whether it's a friend of yours, reaching out for you to grab their hand and walk beside them in this journey to the cross, in this journey of life?
Give to your people the peace that passes all understanding, and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach.